Open partial nephrectomy is a procedure whereby kidney cancer is removed along with a rim of normal adjacent tissue. The kidney is then reconstructed to save as much kidney function as possible. This is important because the kidneys are the main filters of the body and they are essential for life. I'm here to discuss what you can expect during and after the surgery and I will also review the potential benefits of open partial nephrectomy. First, the Cleveland Clinic has extensive experience over 4,000 such cases with open partial nephrectomy. The open approach requires an incision in the flank area, the area of a person's body between the ribs and the hip, and this brings the surgeon down right onto the kidney. And using this incision, the surgeon can use their hands to dissect and reconstruct the kidney. During the procedure, the blood vessels going into and out of the kidney are temporarily clamped and the kidney is cooled with ice to save as much kidney function as possible. The clamps are eventually removed after the kidney is reconstructed after about 20 to 30 minutes. The kidney will then typically turn pink again with no bleeding from the reconstructed part of the kidney. And the tumor is then sent to pathology for analysis. The patient then moves on with their life with almost two full kidneys rather than only one kidney, which would be the result if a radical or total nephrectomy had been performed. Open partial nephrectomy has the lowest rate of serious complications such as postoperative bleeding or inadvertent loss of the kidney, and it allows us to do the most difficult of cases in as safe of a manner as possible. Most patients with one kidney or pre-existing chronic kidney disease are typically best managed with open partial nephrectomy to save as much kidney function as possible. And tumors in the central portion of the kidney where the blood vessels are going into and out of the kidney are also typically managed with the open approach. The open approach leaves the patient with a slightly larger incision, so it typically requires a three to four day hospital stay rather than just one to two days after robotic partial nephrectomy. Either way, the patient must maintain limited activity, avoiding heavy lifting or exercise for a month after surgery. Some patients with a flank incision may end up with a bulge in this area due to loss of muscle tone, although this is typically managed conservatively and usually does not require additional surgery.